So we went over the new turbo setup uh, in the last video, but I'll go over it again and just talk about why. I haven't been making videos for four months. So the new turbo is a billet 468 or 467 7. Some people call it either or. It's really the same turbo. Um, it's a Whirly Custom Fab kit, but I had to send the turbo in for warranty work, which is why the new one uh, isn't powder coated. The original one that I got with the kit was, but I'll get that powder coated uh, this winter when I'm not driving the truck. So it is a uh, 68 millimeter compressor wheel with uh, an 87 turbine and a 10 exhaust housing. Uh, it drives great, picked up a lot of power over the twins that I had. Um, it's really not laggy at all. You kind of have to learn how to drive it. The only time it's laggy is, you know, going 55 with uh, an overdrive, very low end overdrive. It's not going to spool at, at low RPM. But, you know, that's the reason that I got it because it is better on a stock bottom end. You know, you're, you're waiting to get into boost until you get in the higher RPM range. So that's why I like it. The second gen swap with the Steed Speed manifold sounds amazing. Uh, I really can't complain. And it, it, it's an awesome setup. So any of y'all have any questions over compounds versus big single, you know, I'll do some drivability things and some sound things later on. But for now, uh, just know it's awesome. It's so worth it. So the reason I hadn't been uploading in uh, four months is I had a ticking in my motor. It wasn't a knock, uh, it was more of a tick, and, but it was annoying and I knew it wasn't a regular diesel tick. And so we uh, pulled the injectors, had them sent off, even though they were only like five, six months old and didn't have that many miles on them. I wanted to make sure and it's easy to have them checked they all checked out fine when you put them back in we reset the overhead made sure everything was good so there was no ticking in the valve train and when i got this steed speed manifold obviously got a new exhaust housing or a, a new manifold with uh new gaskets bolted it back down made sure everything was tight so it wasn't an exhaust leak that wasn't it so then it was like well uh what do we do because we still have a tick and like I said, it wasn't a knock, so it wasn't like, oh, yeah, you need to pull the motor, you need a rebuild. But uh, I had just put the new exhaust manifold and turbo second gen swap whole kit on, and the turbo, for whatever reason, crapped out on me. I mean, it had oil and everything was done properly, but I guess the bearings were bad in it. I'm, I'm not sure. Anyway, it had to be sent for warranty work, and when that happened, I was like, all right, let's just pull the motor, because the truck's not gonna be driving without the turbo anyway. So after all that happened, and we pulled the motor, we found, you know, all of the pistons looked great, and then we flipped the motor over, and uh, number four rod bearing was worn. It wasn't worn out, but it had some markings on it uh, but again nothing too bad and you know that could have made some noise and I think the uh, the wrist pin in number four had more play in it which was leading to the wear on the rod bearing so uh, could that have caused noise yes could it have not caused noise yeah so still not 100% sure and then number three the middle um, the number three piston the middle ring was split in two which that could have caused catastrophic failure again don't know if that would have caused noise or not i'm not you know that knowledgeable about engines and what causes ticks and what doesn't and what causes knocks and what doesn't but anyway glad we pulled it when we did we rebuilt the motor uh new a whole new engine rebuild kit with new pistons ring seals gaskets is um and bearings is like 950 bucks. Obviously that's not installed, but that's not that bad for 
all of that plus new piston. So we went ahead and rebuilt it. So I basically have a new motor now and I have a new turbo. I have new everything. So the 170,000 mile truck is now back at zero. Um, so it drives great. We cleaned up a lot of stuff under here. We uh, painted the head and the block so it's not rusty anymore. I mean, it's still kind of dirty and all the wiring's crazy in here, but the block looks a lot better. Got a fuel filter delete, if you can see that. So I got rid of this huge bowl. I have the stock fuel line still here. I need to do something about those, but this motor is so quiet now. You know, it hardly even has the diesel tick to it, but I love it. Uh, couldn't have been happier with how everything was done. And, you know, I usually drive it pretty easy, but I've been trying to drive the crap out of it uh, to get the rings set into boost and put some miles on the new motor, especially before winter sets in. Um, so, if any of y'all having issues with your motor or whatever, you know, best thing to do is take it to a mechanic, but I would definitely start with the overhead. Pull the injectors, it's really easy to do. Have them tested. It, it, from the cost of what a, it is to rebuild a motor, have the injectors tested before you pull the entire engine and figure out it was an injector or something like that. So, uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much it. That's why I've been gone for so long. I'm happy to be back and this thing should start looking a lot better after things are powder coated but that's why i've been gone and hope you and uh enjoyed this upload if you have any questions about motor rebuild or what i did to it or anything like that don't hesitate to let me know and hope you'll have a blessed day subscribe for more see you later